Hey Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is Heart to Heart with Holy Spirit. I'm so happy to be back in the presence of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, fam. New and old subscribers, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for your love and support. I could not thank you enough. You have been so wonderful and I appreciate you all all right I'm gonna get a love energy check-in I know it's Monday I should have recorded this yesterday but I had a lot of family things going on so let's see where you guys are for the week what's coming in and what spirit wants you to know keep in mind I may say he she male female divine feminine divine masculine take it where it resonates energies are fluid and interchangeable collective if you resonate with the messages all is well if you don't please do not make the story fit okay Let's see what Spirit wants you to know, okay? See what's up with you and your person. Let's get it. Let's go. In Jesus' name. All right, Holy Spirit. Messages of clarity and truth for the collective. What do you need them to know? I'm going to get the first three collective, and then we're going to talk about it, and then I'm going to get another three. Intuition. Intuition, divine timing. Grass is greener. Soul made on the bottom of the deck. Intuition, divine timing, and grass is greener. Okay, collective. So whether it be you or your person, I do feel like you are trying to use your intuition toward this soulmate that you're thinking about. Or your soulmate is thinking about you when it comes to tapping into their intuition. Divine timing is into play right now because somebody thought that the grass was greener on the other side. You and your person may have been separated. And your person wants you to know that they want to close the distance. But I do feel like they know that it has to be a little time in between. Maybe it'll come back around. You could be thinking this about your person as well. What else, Holy Spirit? But somebody is trying to make sure their next steps are very intuitive. That they're doing things the way the spirit wants them to do them. Secret crush. Okay. What else? Third party in reverse. Healing. Roll the dice. Okay, so collective, Spirit is saying that your person had a secret crush on somebody. It may have been an outside individual, and they thought the grass was greener on the other side. Right now, I feel like they let this third party go, or maybe you let the third party go, take it where it resonates, but now your person is focused on healing the connection between you two. I feel like right now, if you guys are in a period of separation, they feel like it's too fresh to talk about it. It's too fresh to even mention the situation or even discuss a plan on how to come back into union. Okay. I do feel like your person rolled the dice somewhere and now they feel like they had a spiritual awakening about this connection between you two. Your person wants to reconcile with you. And spirit is saying that your person also may have ghosted you. And if you guys have not been communicating, I feel like one you or your person have been reaching out to the other and maybe there was no communication at all. Okay. Maybe you guys have not talked at all or somebody just doesn't want to talk in this relationship. All right. But spirit is saying that your person has surrendered to the connection. They realize that they now want a relationship with you. Okay. So I felt like because of this secret crush, this person may have felt like that they could do better than you. For some of you, this is while you guys were together. For others of you, this is while this period of separation has been going on. This person tried to get into other relationships or test the waters with other relationships and they realized that they're just not you, collective. Okay? So let's see what the truth of the matter is and see what's going on. Holy Spirit, tell me more about this. For the love energy check-in for the collective. Tell me about intuition. Yeah, organic growth. Okay. It came out sideways. So your person wants organic growth. They want something to grow. I do feel like they are trying to get grounded right now. They're trying to make sure they make the correct decision on their next moves. Especially when it comes to you. I feel like they don't want to 
cause an uproar. They don't want to create conflict and chaos in your life. They want to do things appropriately. They want to do things very tenderly as well. This person is determined to be back in your energy because this person has found their wholeness. For some of you, I do feel like this person feels like you make them whole as well. Also, I do feel like this person has been doing a lot of spiritual work on the inside. Shadow work, okay? Spirit is saying that this person has been avoiding you because you guys are on a break, okay? Let's see. I, what I'm getting from this collective is that your person doesn't want to come back into your energy until they're right with God and with themselves. They want you to be able to see a change in them. That's what I'm getting. Tell me about divine timing. I feel like they're embarrassed by their previous actions. So for some of you, they're embarrassed by thinking that they can find somebody better than you. Empty handed. Divine timing. On the bottom of the deck, you got six. So your person was distracted. Yeah. Whatever third party individual they entangled themselves with, they manifested into their lives. They were distracted because there was a sexual relationship that was keeping them tied. That was keeping them bound and they couldn't see things clearly with you. For some of you, it is too little too late. For others of you, you do miss this person just as much as they miss you and you want them back. But this person is focused on unconditional love right now. And I feel like something came unexpected. This healing that they've been seeking. They didn't expect to be spiritually awoken by your relationship. But I feel like for most of you, they realized this after you left their life. Or this, this spiritual awakening has happened after this period of separation. It, it gave them time to reflect on everything. Tell me about the grass. The green and grass. Emotionally unavailable spirit is saying that this person was emotionally unavailable to you. They didn't give you anything to work with. They didn't tell you they loved you. They liked you. They cared about you. They were cut off. For some of you, they didn't even give you any emotion whatsoever. So you couldn't gauge their energy and where it was going. On the bottom of the deck, you got family. You got ladies, man. Spirit is saying for some of you, you guys have a baby with this person. This could be a baby's mama, baby's daddy. Take it where it resonates. But this person was a ladies woman or man. Okay. Was out there being a whole player. But Spirit is saying that this person wants to communicate with you because they've been doing the shadow work. It could be your divine masculine, your feminine. Um, take it where it resonates. It is her. So Spirit is saying there is a feminine within the collective that is doing some shadow work right now. Okay. And they want to talk about this illusion that they were tied up into. They also want to talk about the distance between you two. Because this distance is triggering them. Okay? And now they want movement between you two. They want to get things back on track. They realize that they've been sneaky within this relationship. What else? Tell me about secret crush. Changes. Your person is thinking about a reconciliation with you. Um, what I'm getting is your person is watching you as well. I'm getting a spying energy. Your person is looking on your social media as well. Your person is checking up on you whether you know it or not. Even if there's no communication right now, your person is looking at what you're doing. They're, look, they're thinking about reconciliation, their happiness. They want to fully commit to you and they want a relationship with you. Your person wants to gauge your energy even if they're not physically in front of you because they're looking at the next steps that they want to take. And I feel like because of this shadow work that your person is doing, they're doing it because they're in pursuit of coming back or returning back into your life. But when they come back, they want to be able to offer you something wholeheartedly. This person is determined. Okay. Spirit is saying that your person is determined because this person is whole now. In the past, they wasn't. They were chasing after fickle relationships and people that didn't serve their highest and greatest good, nor their spiritual path. But your person wants to be able to come back and have something to offer to you. This person wants to fully commit, make you their husband or wife, take it where it resonates. They want to give you everything. 
tell me about third party in reverse. I feel like this person has let go of these third parties. Hurting. Yeah. Your person realized after the deep reflection that this hurt them more than helped them. This third party, they let them go. And this, for some of you, this third party hurt your person. Gave them that same type of energy that they gave you. They, they went out there, tried to see what, you know, that green grass was like. And they got burned. Okay? So, Spirit is saying that this person is planning right now. They're manifesting. And they're trying to become independent. Okay? Your person is working on their independence because they want to come back and swiftly offer the world to you. Tell me about healing. For the love energy. Check in the collective. What else about healing? Intimacy. What else? Spiritual lesson. Your person realized they've had an awakening that this intimacy and dating world, this thing that they've been doing, trying to go out there and play the field and see what their options are. They play with a lot of fish and kissed a lot of frogs. That's what spirit is saying. But now I feel like after all of this has transpired, they're realizing all of that has brought them no happiness. They had to find happiness within themselves in order to love somebody the way the spirit wants them to love them, which is you collective. All right. Your person realized that this green grass on the outside was an illusion and they've learned their lesson. Spirit is talking to a feminine out there that has been doing the shadow work. Okay. Take it where it resonates. If you're a masculine within the collective and you resonate with this message, take the message. Spirit wants you to know something. Use it for your situation so that you can grow, okay? Spirit is saying that you've been doing all of this within this break. And you've been focused on your career, your money. Spirit is saying that you've been working on your emotional intelligence. See, Spirit is saying that at one point you were, you or your person was unavailable. Okay? Spirit is saying that you guys or your person has been working on all of this during this period of situation. Completely healing from the inside out. All right, so let me go ahead and get you guys some advice, and I'm going to go ahead and end the reading. Okay, I'm going to get Unshakable Inner Peace. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. Holy Spirit, what's the advice for the collective in this love energy check-in? What's the advice for the love energy check-in for the collective? What's the advice? What does the collective need to know? Breathe. This moment matters most. How can you focus on the moment and appreciate all that is well? Spirit is saying, take in this moment. Appreciate the lesson for what it is. On the bottom of the deck, you heal by releasing, not suppressing. What emotions do you need to feel? Spirit is saying that this time, this period of reflection is so that you can tap into your heart. You can tap into those emotions. You can feel OK, spirit is saying, what do you need to work on? There's a lot of emotions within this connection and you felt them after this period of separation. So take it for what it is. Learn the lesson. Get back on track. And if you need to go after your person, make sure you do it with emotion because that's what was lacking. So take it for what it is and move forward, collective. All right. I hope this message brought you a lot of clarity and advice. I will see you guys in the next reading. Don't forget to like the video, click the notification bell, and comment below if you resonate with the message. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye.